Diplomatic with scientific drives to tame life under the cartography of reason, complacent with the worst excesses of the neoliberal securitization. The app program for political change that comes to the belief that reason backed by military power is necessary for our safety comes the rush between momentary catastrophe, our ability to profit and consume the uh, second catastrophe, the banal life to die, uh, mon uh, monotony of politics. The one who sees speeds through one catastrophe after another, checking out their opposition to governmental power by uh, bucks for the day, the museumification of horror that the one who sees uh, lets reason walk us back into the campy, uh, half commodifies a horror and enacts a farcical form of political engagement with slaves, uh, the passion to reason, locks up within a system of colonial governmentality which reduces more modern uh, subject invested in their own domination. Uh, colonial world demand the colonization of the mid-body of China and the artists have to prepare the idea has a program in the colonial alignment with colonial government having a couple of circles with the state of emergency that requires no political decision and just like uh, the colonial of yesteryear we come to accept our political limitations as being uh, for our own good colonial government has become the working or power and building our notion that modern world is in this whether the West are in the <coughs> whether this passage to save lives or to distinguish them during an event to operate for the good the government mentality operates in the shadows of disciplinary black and its political nightmare that faces a uh, new racial body that is the concentration uh, that is the concentration camp that we will uh, we find it everywhere of course upon us yet we do not see the increased control of the threat rather than reimagine as virtue of higher form of happy pen office and divide skating goes and aspects that limit our freedom and the thing that controls us no longer presses and keeps us at the end of as the, the end of the struggle when it becomes a timeless and uh, reason becomes a dry dreaming and one a liberal democratic safety uh, entire economic order of commodity based capitalism depends on the momentary quality and uh, each and every good time uh, and we uh, live to live in the short term and even in states of emergency a story for the shock effect of heartache of faith uh, is always uh, to live we go accustomed to the horror and we go complacent yeah, but before such complacently shit that uh, uh, testing we are uh, momentarily trapped in the panic of that could be us we uh, invoke only a limited sense of uh, limited sense of concern we will protest against war because we believe God is willing but all along we secretly know that our actions are mere focus we uh, by transforming the horror of these events into a form that we all feel comfortable with, we package the wrapping into a form of the museum piece, we commodify commodification with the horror behind the glass, we limit its effect by transforming it into a form of distraction, we gain, we regain control over the event, turns the unpredictable, unsafe, accepted, and unstable into something we can look at, we keep the safe distance, we make a profit out of it, we live in a world that is constantly attempts to repackage these things in order to make sense of them and limit their profundity, caught in a pincer movement between the calculated reasons of plus political policies and dream desires of material, I promise, of the hoardings of industry, of the experience that are seduced, I uh, experience our seduced consumers and requires the reason of utility to operate and interpolate into the consumer world desires, uh, desires that never become mechanical reasons. Leads away from the champion and choose to be a passionless existence when we face the future. We may momentarily desire passionless existence because we think that it will be a cocoon from uh, the fear of the minors return. Yet uh, each of these disaster strikes, we be become uh, as we, we become increasingly aware, aware that this uh, th that this life of passion offers no relief from terror. Our whole reason leads back into the cells of Guantanamo Bay, back, uh, back into the refugee uh, camp. This world of politics that throws up the possibility of resisting the Montage, politicizing the claims of uh, government mentality, colonial government mentality, no desire uh, no longer desire to dominate or to, but to liberate, no longer to dominate in order to satiate, 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 and reason to go that emotive surge that leads to the reemergence of the world state of being is the satiation of the spirit of rebellion that we discover the afterlife of colonial government to be a firm his claim to control the American military space by moving politics uh, uh, to have a movement toward policing and politics it's, it's the liberal way of uh, the liberal way of terror these uh, the liberal way of terror nothing has been more destructive for the global periphery than the conversion to uh, war as the law of war the uh, neoplatonic level of US Army counter the field manner of calling that commands the economics of the world of police military forces blurred that building on the growing consensus has, has been very reinforced with the war of uh, terrorism criminalization of the enemy uh, something that commentaries are very different uh, political persuasion seem to be as, um, as much as war is increasingly formed police and military engagement governments. Now, most terrorism within the symbolic forces are policing a critically self destructive judge, a just melee, uh, closing self and seemingly modest police operation, the increasing worldwide civil war. These uh, continuous police interventions, police is now narrowly informed in terms of law and enforcement. We can make sense of civil engagement by tracing back to the original police sites on crime prevention, but it's more general process than administ administration. Well, police sites are the sites of governing the uh, form of pastoral power, constituting nothing less than the fabrication of order. I want to point to the world of civilization as police, the fabrication of the international order of civilization. It's a concept that is used both to describe and shape reality, sense of civilization, historical rooting of the police idea. The affirmative focus on legal actions hides the hidden necropolitical, uh, necropolitical agenda that requires drones in their use inside uh, and outside of battle and war. This necropolitics creates the conditions of possibility for extinction. Uh, Alice and her 12 would be possible to establish a system of accountability for autonomous killing systems according to argument principles of proportion. Use of violence could literally be hardwired into drones. Uh, anti drone voices uh, focus on legal mistakes. Anti drone pro drone to ethics converge both concerning the values with the idea of the accidental conversion of both sides of the reveals an interesting like human. They are concerned with what goes wrong either with drones or with human drones. Yet, it might not be atrocious if drones arise from the fact that quotidian use, especially in the context of the quasi colonial. 
a battlefield in which drones are used to be debate on drone autonomy assumes that the current operators are separable from the drone. The hierarchical structure of violence that produces the atrocity of colonial warfare reflects precisely from those apparatus to distinguish those who are to be protected from those who are to be feared or destroyed. Drone conflicts are the dematerialization of very complex social and technical relations. What is the established state constituted by the operation of necropolitics, the distribution of human species into groups between one and those subjects of the sovereign right of death? Necropolitics means separating the good from the bad, establishing one who is an object of the battlefield. Necropolitics exerts an exercise of the sovereign right to death and distribution of possible. Uh, the, uh, the distinguishing of populations who are to be subject to it through surveillance and management in which war and order stand by side by side or alternate with each other uh, in uneven geolocalities of war, state, and exception make drone warfare reality in certain spaces. Not other drones are not simply the dominant distances, but are already autonomous, opening up certain possibilities, while simultaneously closing out others. The drone is fundamentally a fetishized object, transforming relations between people to relations between objects. The representation and affective field of images are the basis and motivation for war. What we lack is not a proper scientific or empirical challenge to balance. We like the cultural critic willing to fight the fear mongering, which results in more the access for in this form of affective securitization that makes war not well alien at all in a society filled with uh, in a society filled with blood and this construction the act of terror is the only meaningful act of uh, terrorist in language and Jew and they infiltrate now all the conscious and wave that writers used to inspire to act of representation including those of terrorism and spectacular physical violence as well this language performing an art for the influence of uh, influence of the public sphere in the Iraq war the U.S. is seeks the powers of image as well the aesthetics and uh, techniques to the influence to shape the costumes of millions to generate songs for the uh, pure nationalism rather than able to pursue a military agenda but those who are uh, the critical reasons for political text are now needed more urgently than ever to analyze the relationship between political power and the libraries of rhetorical methods that are being employed by politics and others to further the destructive effect of the world. Like these scholars create a conscious awareness of how uh, aesthetic devices achieve their effective appeal. The citizens may begin to understand how they're being manipulated and motivated by our emotion. We uh, scholars need to find ourselves, uh, find ourselves marginalized as a just case because of our research. We know the most uh, serious threats to our societies today are likely to result from failure to communicate to them from the inadequate scientific information or technological inadequacy of leaders who resort to military action. Which, but the cultural explanation is complex. That is not reason enough for uh, to abandon our efforts to influence and uh, alter the current course of events. We have no option but to pursue our teaching. And, uh, no to influence others, uh, too much of the meaning of motives of what they see in their case. Rejected China, and I try to spread as much uh, objective for the lack of discursive projection which should take responsibility for our framing of geopolitics, but then in for with a cult that's so secret that the U.S. China can pose a great problem even if it does not become a military problem because China's cannot see her uh, heart. U.S. forces even while losing a war, uh, losing, a, uh, losing a war China, in the U.S. higher discourse, it becomes a private subject to be dismantling in the U.S. We alone can know they consider us their enemy because uh, they pose a menace to us, uh, a challenge, a China's future director and global audience is contingent on how we in the U.S. want to see it. Their, uh, their narrative of China's growing resource grabs our political tools to accept the domination for uh, cooperation necessary to avoid conflict, uh, causing more war. Uh, a car service and or Earl in 12. China's source policy open vulnerability in the trade of Moscow. This combination is not a bad way. It is only a matter of time for dominators to try to equate it to a current trade. Yeah, China, U.S. Uh, economic government is grotesque. This is a mix of Cold War tensions. A replay of the Carter Doctrine. It is still suspect the language has changed, but the outlines remain the same. China's fundamental into defense with the rest of the world plays a clear and ambitious role in nurturing people with a peaceful coexistence. The extent of the relationship that reflects the fluid distribution of economic power and a balanced government is, uh, is, can be achieved by building a strategic alliance, increasing, by, by increasing participation in international institutions. The last 10 years, the world has witnessed a Beijing that reacts strategically and reflexively and to these self imposed backpacks and networks and by seizing opportunities to create new markets. The rest of the world starts to get comfortable with the Dominating non traditional emergent uh, emergent the impacts of this is one of copyrighted China multi plunk uh culture domestic needs are formed by multiple sources and assessment that do not lose uh, the guiding principle of the West continued trial with China's emergent broader explanation could influence paradigmatic shifts as soon to incorporate non traditional actions. This is especially true of uh, the South China Sea. Uh, the reason that the, the, the reason that China's acting aggressively there is not uh, is not because of resources per se, but the United States aggression in the first like Kuzinski at twelve these China Seas being integrated in the field of China's strategic uh, rivalry with the US uh, China ICM assuming that an extent of China's claim the whole area is negotiable China was set uh, up for a federal regional agreement had the issue of uh, only completing uh, to energy and fisheries, an agreement may have been possible. Strategic rivalry with the U.S. power reshapes the in a way that reduces the world ACN and the ability to negotiate a resolution on the issue. Uh, China makes China unresponsible ACN. Uh, Apprehension is more concerned that U.S. moves uh, outside the area and U.S. naval activity, our market naval activity, they also don't solve any part of the China advantage. Self defense still applies, regardless of whether it's about drones or not. They, if they believe that it, that is their territorial incursion, that that means that they will act in self defense to expel any incursion on that territory. I'm not really sure how they can possibly solve any part of this advantage. Countless examples of the U.S. blurring this, the, the distinction between that. Abello and Invello in history. Uh, throughout history, the absolute nothing slow. It's not the independence of Abello and Invello, the dualist act of axioms, despite the question. Uh, acceptance of the axioms is logically questionable. Under theorized, at times, it's responded to NATO carry out a four month air campaign against Serbia. Then, at the end, the FBI said NATO's solution and Invello decision piles would apply 15,000 feet, even though this would increase the weight uh, to Serbia's ability. The Invello uh, principle of proportionality applies to black combatants to take some risk in an effort to reduce the uh, risk of enemy civilians. The global war on terror is such a war. Uh, political leaders and their lawyers uh, invoke the Abello and factory treats and cuts the category of the Invello. Uh, the attacking of torture is difficult to dispute. The U.S. deliberately tortured detainees who 
Gonzalez wrote that the war against America, the new kind of war, which renders obsolete and even strict uh, limitations on the question of enemy prisoners, and renders quite some of its provisions, suggests that Avalon considerations just finally relax what it seems as an uh, enactment is a game bill of constraints on market constraints. Also, their, their presupposition that the law of war can contain war uh, because of the fact that the war is a condition of, uh, war is a condition of possibility for law to begin with fill those in the ICTY to, to render universal justice on the mechanism political of your state sovereignty, the uh, crucial paragraph that again is by the dual grounds of legitimate and illegitimate civil war. So, in fact, I start by talking about the law. The way we discuss conflict is more important than the history of the conflict. It's not just the way we discuss how it, but it's how, it's how we how 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 effectively orient ourselves and towards how the war is mobilized is a question of how we can use Certainly, it's our communication session. Okay, so you, the evidence that you read from this, that you read from this is like citing John Mello. And it's like, I, I'm just wondering, you know, it's in like a, a book review about an interview with the New York Times Magazine. I'm wondering where this says that a discussion of sort of how we communicate in an abstract sense has an impact on the government. You mean the Elliot evidence? Because, you know, the professor at the University of California that yeah, speaks yeah. to the You're talking about intervening as well. I don't think this is important. I did ask a question about how does a discussion of the way we communicate about war change the way the government acts? I mean, it's a question first and foremost of how this was sort of explained in the debate. Our argument is that your effective presentation of the 1AC is problematic in and of itself. Because it's what the government should do is a secondary question to the conditions of possibility or our I guess we'll, we can talk about our, this our our The Dutton card is talking about the Metropole Hotel, and it's a, a You're right, it doesn't mention the Metropole Hotel. Well, no, no, no. The entire article is right. about its attempt to sell the SARS epidemic as something that... You're right. It is one... That is one and example. I wonder if that is absolutely incorrect. I'm asking a question. I have not asked a question yet. Okay. If there is one way to sell threats that is commodifying them, like the SARS, is there any other way with it, which we can react to threats? Let's say the SARS mm -hmm. exists in the virus. SARS does exist. Yeah. And so how do you react to SARS if it's not commodifying it or selling it? You don't have to sell SARS. Right. And so how would, like, say, the alternative communicate about SARS or about, in the case of I mean, that? This, this is sort of a ridiculous situation that presupposes the answer you want, which is that there are these threatening things which we should yeah. respond okay. to with. Like, for example, I don't think SARS that is a very sense. serious threat. We can talk to some of your other evidence, like the right. Oikleos is about police science when we're doing counterinsurgency in places like Afghanistan. I'm struggling with how this has to be. Yeah, sure. It is specifically about the logic of policing and police science, the, which is that we designate particular the distinction between self-defense and Joseph Bell is that distinction of policing. It designates particular well, geographies for the Although we have to admit that the, the source that Neopo decides at the very beginning of this evidence for the entire card is the U.S. Army's counterinsurgency. Yeah, he is, he, yes, he is. And you're not saying that, that, the the US, that the plan modifies counterinsurgency. No. Our point is that the plan covers over counterinsurgency. Yeah. It makes that violence legitimate okay. by creating a not affected. Precisely, that is the problem. Cool. Next. Allison evidence the Italian is saying necropolitics causes extinction. I'm wondering how that occurs. So even what this evidence says. The, the evidence does no, affect even the word extinction. Oh, well, it does not say the word extinction. It's similar to the evidence does not say nuclear war. Uh, I guess my question.
China attacking us, West attacking them, spelling with justifications for territorial incursions against non state actors, view the imagery lens of specificity, major rejection of the China threat gets warped into orthodoxy, views of the extremism, their corrupt American Cal and Baki, China victory lands up confirming the link of any of these subjects, even more recently, their red Chinese protest, PC, practice of the US world, China getting to be separate from the world madness, China's left view reduces the dangerous deceit to deny the end of producing with China, and foreigners can actually say that would be a mistake because depending on circumstances, anything you need to recognize is that the purpose is not to argue that interpretation of the false relation is only all except to China's fundamentally peaceful, but that it's not necessary to impact context of perception. There is no uniqueness for the terminal impact because war is inevitable. Now we will answer the terminal uh, impact of the destruction of the game. We agree that U.S. presence is ratcheting up tensions, easy on rails because of U.S. targeted here with the alternative does not solve Chinese energy use or consumption patterns. But here's their Carceris card. They cut the straw person. He says that cap is good, that resources are China's primary motivation of war policy, that oil and nationalism, Trump, cooperation, start this card. Carceris, drop. Principally, the Chinese request for the resources system, lack of energy sources, reduce the vulnerability nationalism, is agriculture, the social benefit of Chinese body, bring out the Chinese status, is out the new capitalism, the China market, the Chinese free markets, the functional capitalism, the Chinese free drivers, production, conception, right, like the Chinese capital, success, doesn't incorporate purchasing capacity, power, all the Chinese political will leave us unlikely to remain secure. China knows this bad reason that search for energy sources, a shortage might be for represent economics, who said stuff owners would drive Chinese actions overseas, most of the natural economies of the West have been able through innovation and digital economic economic resource consumption, advanced technologies are resulting in new oil and plastic being discovered every resulting phenomena, cultural relations, called the capitalism of the world, imperialism is a problem which empower the empire falls with the phenomena, these this energy policy has been quickly learned by strategies in Asia and China research and other China economies you need to match consumption production China can be with other economies we solve preventative self-defense which is the only relevant internal and conflation exists in practice throughout history but it is not a cop in the law I have solved career delineation because Obama has put it in his white paper which is being modeled by other countries overseas people they have conceded an impact of little deterrent structure and thinking that they lower the war threshold by uh, disrupting their expectations that are rely on a durable signaling mechanism of black which I will explain below now go to the criticism permutation to occur to the Apparently, the plan to interrogate our security depictions and practices, as well as their grammar. Otherwise, their exclusive method math focus uh, with a yes no litmus test causes paradigm war checks. The falsification will transform into license where you're receiving a financial assumption to be based on how we're research principles for the purpose of making sure they have all the required elements of the system. But since you're starting points, it's closer to positivism. Taking a construct from the kind of again, the time nations not important before concentrating on the world. Legal restraints work, the theory of the exceptionism. Uh, exception is wrong, two and six. Legal devices have been a possible attainment for the antagonism of the spread of the spoken and the threat of violence. It's no one's selling the trend to go here and look forward to the trend to show more than a student fail. The general trend is positive by no means incoherent. The resolution will be to reform the process to minimize the dangerous kind of ideal on sticks. It employs the dilemma of legal obsolescence as a battery ram, simulating national security law debates and cool kids' key skills enables us to better analyze legal doctrines, which means specificity should be a tiebreaker. Legal norms don't cause wars. They can't affect liberalism with intent. It does nothing to say about the trap of some politics. Theory focused on enemies, not press political meetings. We can choose trivial targets. See moral conduct or no possibility. Principal law fairs, law fairs, international criminal are not the same thing as war scandal war. Military and military intervention, social transforming does not apply back in more than sense of friend enemy distinction. They're not united. No one issues in the blue state part of politics. The world is proven strong. Now, we states follow the lack based on a system of incentives. The ratcheting of equity is vis a vis the use of force in a global war scenario correlates with the clarity of signaling mechanisms which only the app is able to solve. Uh, it does not legitimize violence. The alternative is worse kills up. The last thing, political arguments is not limited to legitimate force justice violations. It's not another problem. There is just one cause of justice. The answer for those who object to U.S. targeted killing is not to apply a peace paradigm that would now they will have to direct the arguments. The political leadership is not going to lack in demanding for security purity is dangerous counterproductive because the alternative to the law is not a true law. The law is the best law in history. And if you put the masculine law, it's by far the best case scenario, not the worst laws of war. The main war continues to run in steep in history and try to battle an oppositional views of the law and its use of war on inevitable. Only the permutation is able to resolve academic conflicts. Moving 13. Military necessity is a real ball and I can go away. People don't want to stay for some of the preeminent international law makers stand here and learn from themselves. Yeah, this is knowledge is over power arguments that the more national legislative scientific community should be in use of reference force to address their own agendas, even if this is going on, we're going to still say that the Bible's going to be pro lawyers and trying to be concrete meaning in order to impose this kind of violence because there are no laws. We really believe people are lives and we lost. I see no reason to think so. Without the liberation, responsibility, folks, and vacuum, goes nowhere no matter where we end up. At the start of the month, if we have this, is the legal vocabulary of the law of war. Their threat construction impact doesn't make any sense. Policing is the status quo because of the Obama self defense assertions and paradigms. That is the basis for global targeted killing. Permutation solves the opposite. If the alternative is able to overcome current counterinsurgency doctrine, then the permutation obviously is as well. There's no escalation of threat construction plasma three. Before the emergency, there's some stuff that you're saying about threats based on the same doctrine as possible. Say, but they're actually corrupt. If you remember, then the last debate is to become a response. This is September 11th, and that's what we're doing. But this year is not the kind of which I've people who feel anxious about an enemy that they're incapable of being properly or willing to prepare relative to the value of the atmosphere that leads to restrictions of civil liberties, which then will be the time it's came after deliberation. Once one speech acts, doesn't cause securitization. It's an ongoing process based on structure. The only time causality between speech act and securitization has been criticized. Process of the construction can be clear. A single speech act is not created as growth, but it's created as a process. A single mutual non-securitization issue. But the act's internal link, the act internal link turns back construction. When states attempt to divide one another's intentions, the question of escalation is dependent upon expectations. Uh, here's ask specific evidence for 11. Law against those member organizations, whatever my weapons of use of armed forces, paramount, there's more competition, all this stuff, they'll provide any different law, which states, 
I know I'm not going to explain it all to you. All right, reasonable. Uh, you said that the only difference between the completion now and before is that Obama has it in the white paper. Is that correct? Uh, the exclusive <laughs> official document for how he justifies how he killed it. We read a piece of evidence. Uh, the Sloan card says that you know the Attorney General of the United States wrote a white paper who said, which said that torture and is justified because of the completion. So why is that not just as codified you know, as for your attorneys as party does? The torture memo was yes. an investigation of former CIA practices yeah, and it was like was outside the targeted killing regime. I understand that. Which is convenient because all of our internal links in the 1AC are specific to targeted killing. Why? Why? Yeah. Because drones present unique security challenges. I understand, but if your impacts are also the completion of these particular two you know, bodies of law of war, then if we've completed them in other places, why aren't people modeling that? Why the implication of overlap and the attempts to resolve legal uncertainty in some instances is not the same as... I understand that they're theoretically not the same. Do you have a piece of evidence that draws this uh, Yeah, I would refer you to the blank article as well as the... Um, well... This the blank I'll get back to you, but Sloan's from 2009, so I think yeah, all of our cards this has been going on for a long time. Plans. That's our argument. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what? You said the, the reason the, China let's is... Let's draw a distinction in Sloan. Yes. He's talking about the conflation in an ICJ decision. No. Not by the U.S. About, about, about the Attorney General, the Attorney General, the that's Attorney cool. General uh, addressed torture memos I'm gonna ask the another, CIA investigation. Yeah, I'm going to ask another question. The whole app assumes that is also drone specific. I can't be any clearer. All right. Uh, so... Why is China uh, upset about the South China Sea right now? You said something about how we do targeted killing, and therefore China believes what? Well, your Carceres card, which I think I read around and over and through, uh -huh. uh, throughout the article says that consumption dynamics, because of growing population and rising incomes in China, are motivating resource Sure, price. I understand that. Whoa, 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 whoa. I understand that China wants you know resources in the South China Sea. What conditions the possibility for uh, cooperation versus a certain sort of antagonist? miscalculation based on preventative self-defense. Yeah. And uh, our cards from about a year and a half after the process. Uh, do you have two more seconds? I started to do that all the time. Sure, let's see. So, is it a card you submit? Well, there are like a whole bunch of them. But when I say like the whole app is targeting killing specific, I mean like the whole app.
Carbondale, the two rights are they know that they, 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 all, all the rest of all the rest of Lincoln are, 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 are reasons why this department doesn't make sense. They say incentives solve the department's indication of that during the war crisis in a new modality, global Kafka's divine, like global war, which means there's no such thing as binding national norms. We, 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 live, we live in a sphere of global war, but only in ten years, about a place with spatial elements. I mean, and then people think that plus more than figure war, we're going to figure out what's going on. Two institutions you have to take based on what's the only sense possible to support the war. In the team, it plugs the public where the military is making space in terms of physical war, manifest not this global state, but spatial denial, standing with total global safety by polio. The U.S. Ministers are the last of training for a war, which changed the past, and the priest of political army enemy. And an image in a baseball war consistently denies the cost of great facts, but it's a real-time black war, it's a technology. And then there's not World War II, it's not World War II, and World War II said the manifestation that globalization itself, the world, it is in top of the world war, it's supposed to say global war, determined there is not. Any single chain of thought that can nevertheless maintain every copy of the rights, potentially global companies, because global political things already reigns as a durable disorder. But that global policy contains the war, not the total of the media manifestation, the war no longer to side with the sovereign act and the political institution state, because that's not the is any norm, and except in the southern and radical norm, that's very desperate, that is why any decade of terror attack by the great political wars within the passing days of the so-called southern country, the war around the country, the missiles, the world states were hit by their own civilian airplanes. Now, the militarists today, they say the alternative is to militarism, that doesn't make any sense. That's the status quo, because our policing our militarism, they're hidden by policing, which the fact that they're, they, they don't take any knowledge, they, 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 they don't acknowledge that, and the fact that the government doesn't take a stance on this, just proves our papering over, and we don't take a stance on militarism, our point, they make it more uh, liable by making it more, more, more legally how viable to be the one and are. They say uh, threats are good, but they're good at grasping drones, not only political theory, but also an existential one, only the death cry. They say, like, we're the living McGowan 13, what the English went out of the time, like, when the determined terrorist attack melted itself, like, a burning response to imperialism, they rejected England at the pinnacle, like, what's the subscribe to the middle class, somebody who was, and there's appeal of death, and sometimes it's sort of about the value, then it doesn't bite me the life of our ice cream, or pressure growing, and we would have a happen even in the cabin, and in the time we would love to enjoy what seems like made life worth living by private, and not that relationship with death, not even probably, probably, like, still in the dark, these world values, nothing matters, probably, like, what doesn't seem, you know, these value green power death attack, but this is now what happens to change the way we treat the world, the capitalist communist outcomes were too much better, not serious, your death, the limits that some penetrate, is it only to the further parts of the journey, moves in this direction, well, a life more spread forth, and it's better to make a present public exclusive focus on life, producing eruptions of death, and explode the fundamental spot, perhaps it's a return to a modernity symbol, structure can't have a comedy balance, blow back out to the movie, and respond to a period of aggression, why the return to a modernity foreclosed, they say, one speech is not, is that it's not enough, it's an ongoing process of death, or affect, or argument, our point is that they are part of an ongoing process of affect, or an intention of ourselves towards, or that is toward and away from, a sort of system of, a system of imperial, a imperial war, making which means that this chance, this round is an opportunity to orient yourself away from that, which is what the alternative allows you to do, the alternative fundamental question of, our academic relationship to those impacts, are in some cases specifically important for, academics who challenge war power, even if they're right, the military exists outside the sphere, it allows us to re-engage those questions, because they become the question of our affect of attachments, we withdraw that, attachments, we can sort of re-engage those questions, they say don't find the thoughts of other states, but how the states expect other states to react as a result of any part of the states, well, simply select a different justification in which wars are powerful enough to do it, the powerful international order will stop them, America won't be stopped from doing anything, because it's a vaguely intent to assert itself across the globe anyway, which means that, 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 that sort of divination thought happens anyway, they say bare life's not real, that's not, uh, uh, but the attempt to maintain survival at all, all costs of life, and I can have to insulate life from the risk of blood better than before. The technical moral ideal of comes down really well, like life being pressed around with the history and desperate with the sections not merely one half of the life that's more possible, so the risk of being possible, but it's not only risk of longing. Life is less than two because life can be called a world to preserve the life so many opposed. You can't guess that life preserving life is too complex, and it's very blessed to carry a very fresh part of the truth. I'll give you that one part because it's empty, and it's all been one dimensional man. Like a fancy crisis, but it'll come in to prove that any crisis without bringing power to bread is a powerful crush with appropriation. What is risk of no more than the rash power reactive expression from the light of power active expression from superman's power to your green hand expression? They say drones are lower the threshold for balance. That means there's no risk of any of their impacts because all their impacts spread. Drones lowering, uh, drones lowering the risk of violence and making violence more palpable, which means there's zero risk of any of their arms, because the point is that people will use drones in self-defense in order to initiate conflicts which will then escalate. If there's no risk of that escalation, means there's no risk of any of the permanent mix and impact. They say gold deluxe legal regime, our salt forever is impacted. And, and, and because there's no such thing as a gold deluxe legal regime, it's determined by questions of power, which means that if America is viewed as an unpredictable and unstable violent power, then those sort of races will have to and that the gold deluxe regime doesn't uh, work. They say the LA argument agrees with the permanent that's not true. Our point is we need to resist the way that they have effectively moved us all against death and against the sort of terror. It's a terrorism left. They say militarism is the thing that Brooks Cartes sovereignty exists. That's fine. The second Brooks Cartes that the law fundamentally cannot check new technology because they, they, they inevitably overreach it. That's our drones off. The law will never be stretched to just by new uh, orientation, but also prove that the law will not be able to check these technologies. Which is the only way to the which is the so eternal solidity take us to the government. They say Germany's locked in with heaven and Germany doesn't exist in it. doesn't exist in it. assisting it. It does more violent than 13. The sovereign ever worked extremely to switch power, whereas the Mosque and Terror, the struggle for dominance and impairment may work for the lack of Germany in the United States. Germany's vanished and the light and Germany's fear of our domination shows raw bonds for people. I know the justification of domination become very weak because the extent of the domination brings the shows over to the other moral community based on what they say. Rome sits in the against the weapons of retaliatory war and the CCC. I've made it clear. Look, it doesn't support dominant relations. We're talking against it to direct any world donation. I'm preparing to leave where it's correct. All the slugs and weakness may rely on the hands of the team military machine on a police subject to come switch for additional and then increasing his novels. Military officers will the police know that they've lost their German domination, but the Germany captains themselves. Saying that you learned to build the rest of the internal state to stop the U.S. 
what the Yoni is eternal Christ, and that's angry religion, and the rest of what is dominating from Africa, and Yoni wants to use you next, and I'll be trying to open a brutal dominance, and kill all of them, and lots of what I'll get you back, and Yoni powers care, special places, and Yoni wants to be the dead, and the radical alternative with power, and that's dominating from whatever that goes through, please, powers care, what about the military ship now? The uh, protest argument, well, I don't think you're there. That'll be the one there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is just a zone. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, your mnemonic evidence the uh, moral interventions impact. Cites Martin Avery saying moral interventions are done by NGOs now as a function of the frontline force where the moral police can use them to supplement the use of force as sort of like a, a soft force mechanism. Well, it's not just a supplement. It's that they've, they've taken Obama, over the use of What NGOs has Obama sent into Yemen? Uh, well, there are NGOs in Yemen, so I guess I don't, I don't know if so Obama doesn't send NGOs. Our, is, yeah, our point is not that Obama is like, NGOs go forth and, you know, fight the war on terror. The point is that there is a nexus of international power which is no longer determined by sovereignty, but instead there are non-state actors who are dramatically involved in waging the new war. Policing operates so alongside those by sort of killing terrorists and capturing people. Let's assume that Human Rights Watch is a violent entity, or at least part of violence and power dynamics. How Let does, us how assume does, that, yes. How does the alt solve that? How does the alt solve human rights watch? Or the moral policing in general? Well, I don't think it's the alternative's job to solve human rights watch. Or right. uh, one of the Elliot Evans. What do you do to imperial lawmaking? What do you do to constrain Our Elliot Evans is actually really good on this question. I think it says we need to question our affective investments both in sovereign structures of violence, but also in the logic of fear as a justification for political what action. So that's a crucial academic. that system <laughs> due to change? Motivation right, it's, not a, it's not like a policy that. advantage. I can't say A to B. Like yeah, you're, you're, you're loading the deck a little bit. You're asking like what an individual rejection does to a global structure, which assumes that you can leap to that level. Our point is that this is more useful in the relationship of this debate. Say that a good example of the way that hegemony exerts itself on police Africa. Uh, what does it all do about that? Uh, well, if hegemony is bad and, and it collapses, which our evidence says, then we would reject the sort of negative manifestations of that. What is an instance where Obama has not abided by his own stated targeted killing policy? Where he is not, he, he constantly shifts his targeted killing policy. Can you give me an example? Retroactively justify it. Well, the, uh, well, Harold Cole offering the particular thing that can cause the completion of the first place is an example of shifting. Right, Harold Cole yeah. offered a paper that has some legal arguments. Yeah, it's how it's actually legitimized a particular set of targeted killings, which is the example that Can you name about. an example when self defense was used to justify targeted killing before the publication of the legal paper? It wasn't, it was a post facto justification. Oh, so the legal architecture happened and then we used it. No, no, no. We used it and then we used it to uh, legally have, justify it, which is, I think, what the affirmative does, because it doesn't change the violence, it just says, well, now this is a pretty patina of law on top of it. Well, you haven't given me an example. I mean, we'll get points instance, of instance of targeting killing outside Pakistan. Instance of targeting killing outside Pakistan prior to self-defense. Okay. Okay. Sorry, so that again. Instance of killing outside Pakistan prior to self-defense. Uh, uh, our, 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 our argument is that we shouldn't make differentiations between targeted killing that happens like outside of a war zone and targeted killing that happens somewhere else because they'll all they're all part of a broader police logic which is growing and replacing the world.
Protest arguments are out of the way. The multitudes can engage with the project of producing a hands-on capitalism that is not anything that we said or argument. It's not a protest argument. It's about uh, we reorient our affective investment within the space of this. Uh, rather, the fact that they thought it was a protest demonstrates how uh, much they're missing about uh, the, critique, uh, the critique coming out of the 2AC now. If the affirmative is right, that uh, other nations possibly model American commitments to various elements of both the international law and collective security arrangements that uh, just simply reaffirm certain forms of violence or justify one another uh, does not question the fundamental uh, drive for security of what they're, which is what they're having to about whether good men have to discuss the self regarding security forever, but the blame of discuss the desire to use drones as a first resort. These speak not to it, including the lost war, but to a broader question of a system of infinite security driving itself into a living autonomous weapon. Our proves our point not there. These, these actors will not respect such an agreement that is a quote from the card which demonstrates that they want to use the weapons. It's only a question of the uh, legal justification that they, uh, you know, the legal justification that they engage in floating pit. We're not that. Uh, we're just saying that after investments are more important, we will not just try to do the one AC. I don't even know what that means. Uh, sorry, we will not try to do the plan. I don't know what that means in this context. It's where I'm trying to everything said. But it's getting better now that it's an irrelevant question because it's it's a question of how whose life is getting better for whom their uh, peace amendment is it's simply the uh, lower, uh, lower sites of uh, uh, particular places in Rwanda, uh, Bogota, uh, as places that have not have not actually had uh, an increase uh, an increase in value of value like the living standard, which is uh, precisely arguments we designate particular groups. Uh, and anyway, even if they win that sort of on balance, the abstract aggregate average of uh, human life is better than it doesn't really mean anything. That is exactly the sort of level of liberal statistics that uh, we say that one is to reject because it's sort of sanitizes our affect and relationship to the untold violence that is going on right now, getting killed by a drone. It's not the same thing as sorry to that, which is not the same thing as uh, which is not the same thing as being martyred, which is precisely uh, precise the argument they read in the Indo Pak add on somewhere in there. Uh, zero risk of their impact. Uh, push your candidate. Uh, nuclear deterrence only affects the real threat of being a, uh, of it being used even in a heated trouble reliable and reliably notably uh, uselessly. Uh, countries are too close together. This isn't trivial. Bomb bombing, 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 exploding over facts. Uh, you go back into your packs and we get its own, uh, own bombs, radiation, blowing back over its own perjury. Uh, make no mistake about it. They'll lead to a now which should commit literal economic and political suicide. Uh, I'm not saying suicide. Uh, to the case arguments, the China stuff. Our argument is not about whether China's a threat. The abstract about what cooperation the South China Sea is rendered impossible. This makes the two pieces of evidence they read totally irrelevant. You're right that Carter says that China wants resources. Of course it does. That's a legitimate uh, desire. What we are criticizing is their pathologization of that need for resources. Not a re it has to be a resource grab rather than a legitimate, uh, uh, and a legitimate need for energy. Uh, and legitimate for the need for energy. They, they, they code that as intrinsically violent and loaded with uncertainty. The idea that if China uh, did, uh, did get a resource grab, it can miscalculate at any moment and then somehow nuclear war. But when the U.S. engages in the exact same resource grab in the Middle East, apparently it's okay. The root cause of miscalculation is this effective uh, relationship that the piece of pie evidence with the one I see they are conceiving that the U.S. security posture and aggression is the root cause of why miscalculation is possible and uh, all of China drones of people that doesn't necessarily mean nuclear war. The abstract is about how, how we respond to it and uh, how we create the conditions of possibility for escalation in the first place. The rhetoric of China's aggression is how China sees it is part of this larger discourse of economic securitization that turns against uh, Nelson and Twelve. The uh, U.S. has approached uh, China's uh, China school of securitization. The U.S. has approached China's territorial dispute by putting uh, trains on the relationship. There are two orders of discourse operating side by side. One of control and one of engagement prompted the U.S. to get involved in the South China Sea discourse paper not territory disputes and drawing on water. Uh, the notion of China is a bully the aims of uh, military sector will closely tie to those in developing political sector extraordinary events and worldwide to a great strategy where security is for deemed as a necessary evil of performance. Uh, courts of the speech actors depend on its embeddedness and wider discourse to take to see areas where they uh, uh, see issues where there are none or being avoided to a uh, uh, being, by being critical to speech actors. The U.S. has secured high relation elements of China's economic growth and market uh, economic, uh, economic growth. This is uh, precisely, uh, precisely, the importance of our, uh, precisely the importance of our argument. It's not that uh, it, uh, our argument makes a reverse causal claim in the one and see that if we, uh, we, if we sort of step back from our security posture and aggressive, uh, uh, aggressive, uh, aggressive, uh, aggressivity toward China, then they would not have the need uh, to not negotiate, uh, to not cooperate over uh, with AC and over these sort of things. They say AC and fail. Uh, you need to close, uh, close our way. They say, uh, they say China is mad because we are doing drone uh, targeted killing. That is not uh, that, that is not our argument. Uh, China is mad because we have a fleet parked outside uh, the South China Sea, uh, back outside the South China Sea. They say preventative self defense. Uh, they say, uh, sorry, they say preventative self defense is codified law now, uh, and that's the reason it's different from our slow evidence that creates dumb line. Either there is no modeling worse than ever. Uh, Roberto Gonzalez wrote in a white paper when he was Attorney General of the United States that uh, detention constituted a blurring of the lines between the law, uh, the, the law of self defense and the law of just war, which is precisely our argument. They will attempt to isolate their impact by saying it's only about targeting killing. Their evidence, uh, that terminal impact evidence about the laws of war uh, being necessarily uh, independent are uh, independent are not just about targeting killing. They're about a broader juridical structure that they attempt to uphold, which is their argument about why norms are structuring everything. Uh, the norms are structuring everything. Our evidence says that this does not exist. No, furthermore, it doesn't just not exist for the U.S. Other places do not uh, acknowledge it either, which is the argument, argument about NATO, uh, argument about NATO, Serbia, and the international uh, international jur uh, jur jurisdiction of the IJC. 
which is uh, which is uh, which is the reason why uh, the other of the big says no, drop down the fill of and I didn't read much of this, but I think he dropped it all the low act is inherently violent because it codes violence into legitimation. This is our fill of us argument. I'm gonna uh, 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 finish reading the card here, but that's something it's turned to law, but it violates the trans international law and the order already model of law, so the right of all within law, there's his own history that he constructed, there's something right in law, there's a possibility of crime and, and war, and so far as war can be thought in the context of relative lawlessness. When we consider the war of a role of war internationally, we see that war on the country is the context of lawfulness, but war is a, a non natural phenomenon which over territory and the condition of scarcity or the context of purely physical forces is a ceremony ritualized in law sovereignty that makes it possible for institutionalized, uh, institutionalized violence in the first place. The law of iterability and the terms of the finding of violence is constantly repressed and conservative violence that always repeats the tradition of its origin. They say that the international humanitarian and self defense law is inherently better than makes the most destructive war and institutional of colonial institutions and the inevitable sequence of violence and violence against the people of the world. Is that a mere accident that consolidation of the law of armed conflict contains with the most ruthless and violent forces of violence and inevitable sequence of violence against the people of the world? Is that a mere accident that consolidation of the law of armed conflict contains with the most ruthless and ruthless total wars in human history? We find an unnatural and easy relationship between colonial and my HLs or ritual sin while European powers enter into agreements regulating the conduct of war between themselves. The savages, uncivilized, colonized people are excluded from any legal protection to include anyone in IHL. That's where excludes others and they prohibit certain kinds of violence and condones others. Those, those, that, those that are excluded and the types of violence that are deemed illegitimate are often associated with third world people's IHL. A project of Western imperialism is apparent that the rules of the game have the effect of reinforcing Western supremacy in the products of what a domination just choosing a battlefield is crucial.
Consumption.
single understanding of the world when you take that world outside this paper. They uh, conceded that there was no transfer from this round to the uh, political spirit. I think it's an important framework because they just said the simulation circuit are points that simulations do not uh, allow us to actually change the world. It means that even if it's right that we should simulate it, it doesn't mean that there's any linkage between that simulation and any sort of real world practice. So our point is that there is fundamentally no connection between those things, which means they might be creating good education. But our point is that, that education causes us to be subservient beings because we're constantly too afraid of our own death to engage in any sort of active political practice. So we talk about uh, that in debate context, which becomes fundamentally destabilized and depoliticized now. See, and one of the important points is that only the only the only the only complete refusal that allows us to sort of act to reorient our orientation. There are uh, there are other things that 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 that, that, I, it's, that that there's bad actors. Our point is that they are the bad forces of act. They are the dangerous forces of act that become seductive by you when the two are gets up here and says the people are going to die. We have to save ourselves. That is the seductive force of act that begins that are that is criticized and indicated that that is a formally that is a just a just a just making which which is which is independent is independently loud and at least worse way we release worse from the struggle of the battleship and at least may indicate at least results but the government has indicated that also leads to outbursts of fundamental response. I even when we try to repress when we try to repress the death of existence globally it emerges in specific places that it emerges in fundamental response but the terrorist organization who feel that their enjoyment has not been satisfied if it emerges but people like China feel that we've been repressing them which I think is a good way to interpret the case argument we make on the Chinese law that the Chinese desire to fundamentally refuse by the United States which means that that refusal will allow the enjoyment to express itself elsewhere there only the 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 frame the frame which means you should determine the question of aspect first there only the 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 the, 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 that, that, that's the only sort of productive political, political, political practice that we can, we don't have access to the political spirit. That is the only question how we orient ourselves as individuals towards those questions. Not uh, how we can be the United States government. They see simulations because they can see they, they can see that they are not actually role playing, which means the only question whether or not you should imagine that scenario or point that imagining that scenario does nothing to engage political systems. In fact, uh, Antonio Evans indicates it's fundamentally and fundamentally unproductive because we become too satisfied and to enjoy the simulating that situation to understand how our own act or our own agency can actually contribute to resolving any of those problems. That becomes a life denying form of agency when we feel that we have successfully saved the world in this great situation. But we leave this room we feel that we've got to do it one more time. That's the repetition of motion that our argument against. We, we need to fundamentally, we need to fundamentally refuse because it allows to affirm uh, life outside of the fear of that sort of nuclear, uh, outside of the fear of that nuclear death of freedom. That, that resolves the result of our question. The reason the alternative is they move away from those questions that they, uh, the, the per- that he says the permutation solves these overreaching reasons. Jack Stevens and he's a methodological focus of that. He, well, these are not our arguments. Our point is not that we are some sort of security study. Uh, we are not. We are not some sort of uh, some sort of securitization critique of. No, no. Bernard says the question of whether or not we should accept some sort of disorder in the world. Our goal in the case of the world is disordered right now that we cannot resolve those things with legal structures. Our uh, power arguments, which they criticize, just indicates the power is fundamentally an attempt to lash out against the globe. The power defines the willingness by other nations to follow these orders, even if people follow the American rule of law that's imposed by the one. Our point is that it becomes at least to your rational life that it comes. Predictable not by America but by other nations as well because the American attempt to impose an image of itself upon the war and to create a new form of violence, a new form of violence that it cannot uh, resolve. In the final argument, he said the, the only other relevant argument, he says no death crime is evidence to indicate that the death crime is, un- is not a sort of satisfying way of understanding the relationship to these questions. I think the Gallagher is much better indicates that the death crime creates meaning because every, when, 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 we, when we begin in the world, we, we, we simply fundamentally lose a portion of ourselves to the social sphere. I, when we uh, become a part of society, we lose uh, the, the, the sort of wholeness of language.
brilliant baby out with the backwater and the all. The altar of getting your own psychology in order. The two and a half is a massive index of the status quo, but not the plan. Preventative self-defense is the logic of preemption. It results in sovereignty violations that cause the sort of police crackdowns and state lash out that their author say is bad means that we have a time frame distinction lets us access all their acts based on escalatory violence. Also means we sell theirs. Our impacts logically contain theirs because wars are happening now when they are small and moderated, mediating that clear expectations between states is able to moderate the security norm. And that means that even if the worst manifestations of U.S. lash out manifest themselves after the plan, other states will be able to see through the fog of war, which is a clear critical sufficiency threshold outlined in our blank evidence. The permutation degree of interrogation has a good shot at checking alarmist scholarship, but they have no chance because the Federal had a desire to the exclusion of any pragmatic strategy to correct stents for really, really shoddy TK strategy articulated by Obama. Affect answers in the wedding hour justified by the Berlant evidence. The word does not appear in any one in CTAC except Ellie when they said affective security. That is not a prioritization argument. The framework interpretation was doing the block, so we should obviously get new answers. And even if you don't think this is the case, we can still win the case outweighs in terms of the implication to affect, which means that we still get to role playing. Now, the fact that now affect is a theory is hogwash. There is no way to divide and compare two models of desire. So the inevitable middle ground is for you to look to pragmatic effects of a political strategy. Hemings is pretty good that the psychological arguments for a prioritization are based on the anti scientific hidden motive thesis espoused by the Berlant evidence. Of course, you would rather be free has a motive appeal, but the desire for control is a prerequisite to communicating state intentions, and they have no counter theory of international relations. Only individuals, the alternative does not have any logic of IR, cannot possibly alter targeted killing law, but states do not have feelings or desire, which means that they cannot turn any of the 1AC security theory. Nonviolence is violence in their method because they embrace the death of other people and are internally turned to Zazmat because they are an active, uncaring ethic. Does it not even because the theory of fair life is super, super dumb? Humanitarianism and liberalism are not the same thing as the death camps, and saying that they are super, super reductive, a reason to default to specificity on these questions. They conceded running on torture evidence says value life is inevitable in any framework because if you are living, you have agency, you can express it, you have decision making capability. Death internally turns in because you can't have effect if you are no longer extant. Now, the Threat construction arguments. There is no historical correlation between the invocation of a threat, the desire for control, and actual lash out. That is the poster card. NGOs are not the same thing as invasions. Gut check. Human rights watch in Yemen has not resulted in Middle East war, and we only need one example because the theory is so totalized. The endless war is a useless trope that elides different kinds of escalation. So the case outweighs an internal infrastructural violence. That was one AR gray evidence. This also answers the result about internal link because it is based on failed action, which means that they cannot extend to any uniqueness for a case because all of that is inevitable now. Iraq is the only two in our example, but it happens and we still have agency so they can't have possibly access the logic of try or die. Hegemony, the dissent doesn't make any sense because pursuit of this is inevitable. It's only a question of how we shape the responses of other states. The 900 bases overseas and they can't alter Obama's decision making calculus. The alternative does not withdraw forces or NGOs, so the police dissent is a nice SYI, FYI. Yes, modeling of U.S. norms because of the incentive structure of law. We have specific evidence to target a killing. They do not. The Gali evidence articulates a bad theory of globalization and the alternative has no way to solve it because it does not alter trade flows, if it does, then the permutation is all, all is able to as well. And even if you accept Gali's theory of a despatialization, that is still the reason why a physical drone going into a physical territory that a state perceives as a self-defense uh, architecture is something that China would probably get pretty peeved about. We got sanitized violence, we moderated it. There is a question of degree that is implicit throughout the entirety of the one I see that they have not come to terms with. The death crime is so, so dumb as a theory because it is based on an outdated model of Freudian psychoanalysis that cannot correlate or explain internal drives to lash out. There is a difference between the thought and the invocation as such and the actual acting of it, which only the permutation can grapple with. It is also able to interrogate. It is not exclusive, um, but affect does exclude the permutation because it can't come to terms with any pragmatic strategy. The simulation argument there to an argument is essentially fiat, not real judge, which is pretty weak. Even if you win every argument about simulation and agency, you can still run out to affirm the normative idea that the plan text is good as an ethical advocacy. Now, we have a fantastic evidence about the efficacy of simulation and changing governmental policy. Don Hughes says that we discussed that National security policy became the tools for critical agents that can reform the state from the inside out. That training and simulation provided by the amnesty, they say we can read, we become scared to take action, and they extend Antonio. But these arguments are wrong. The false premise, they assume that we over identify with the government, see no agency, but simulation does not mean we think we are the government. It's just a normative acknowledgement that another person should act. I can say you should go back without thinking I am you or seeing my agency to you. Role playing outside your own subject position is empowering, and this is the Eichmann link turn. Uh, studies of simulation games aggregated the results, concluded that pretending to be someone else is an empowering way to assert subjectivity. 
can kill me, you have to all disassociate your life, which I've answered elsewhere. Fear is not paralyzing with the strategy of the plan because you have a way to manifest uh, the affective energies that you think that the YC is responsible for, that the true and is responsible for, and direct them into some kind of tangible, uh, tangible action, tangible way of altering the world, tangible way of affirming life. The seduction arguments of the true and also into them because they have impacts, and if you think that you can resolve them, then that is the same exact desire for control that the permutation double bind in the YR uh, is not answered. Rep repression is a reason to be consistent with other states to create clear expectations to maintain what we know to be a non-great power or system. And joy, uh, joy, that doesn't spill up. They have no internal link from things we do outside the surrounds to the plant text.
think about the potential for the affirmative, I think that you have two potential arguments. One is the ability to impact, to affect change, political change. I don't think that you have much of a warranted argument there, how the app actually spills over to cause change. I think that your Eichmann part, I'm not entirely sure how to pronounce it, just said that it is effective in developing knowledge, which I think could be a potential extrapolation, but I don't really understand the affirmative between the political process. And the second impact you have to why I should value uh, the affirmative in, the, in its uh, hypothetical implementation is just kind of this agency argument. Uh, but I think that ultimately begs the question of how we use our agency. And so if I think that your the agency in simulations of uh, the app are problematic for uh, affect reasons, then I don't really know that there's much value to it. Um, so permutation debate, so ultimately I think affect is kind of a prior question. So permutation debate, I don't really know what the permutation is uh, or how it functions. I think there needs to be a little bit more explanation. It kind of makes sense to me that uh, the, the two in artist analysis is sort of like irreconcilable things. It's like your, it's like all the, if I was to, re, if I was to do the all, I think I end up rejecting most of, if not all of the justifications to the affirmative because I think that they are based on a flaw in relation to, or a flawed, uh, approach to an affect and how we should relate to it. Um, so I ultimately don't understand. I don't really know. I just need more of this is what the perm is. I don't even know what which perm you're going for. Like it never gets kind of clearly explained. So I, I think that it makes it difficult for me to evaluate. Um, so the last thing to talk about is kind of the impact that I vote for. And admittedly, it's a very small impact. It's kind of what Mike was talking about. How I, I don't think that there's any risk of uh, kind of a, the lash out type arguments, Trent's case stuff. I think it's very uh, a personalized impact. I think that uh, the alternative is a, just a better way to engage the world with less potential for violence, um, less resentment, more value life, even though I think value life is inevitable. And so I think you have defense against all of these, but none that take it out completely. So I admittedly end up voting for a, a relatively small risk of kind of a better personal approach to politics. Um, so this, this is, I'll, I'll get to it. I think this is I just want to point out, like, the, when I say the only place that affect is a concept appears in the one and tag is affective security. That's not like my poor memory. That's like a control F thing that I did in prep time. Sure. So, like, I, when he says our interpretation is in the block, mm -hmm. what's a better way for us to get this stuff included? I mean, that's tough. I, 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 I really think that. The one and C was it was predictable that this is the way the K could have gone. Like there's obviously multiple ways this K can go and different things it could become. And I think you do like do a really good job predicting all of them except this one. <coughs> so I don't think this was hidden. I think this is the entire this is one of their five cards on this. This is twenty percent of the one and C in my mind. So I I mean, I don't know. I think maybe Well the the word affect does appear in the, that tag. The, 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 the alternative text as it's stated is like the alternative is to interrogate the grammar of security. So some, I'm not sure maybe, I'm, maybe I'm putting the word grammar and security, but so the word the word, word affect the word yeah. affect is not rampant in that card, but the card uses things like rhetorical aesthetics, which I think to me I don't I don't know that there's much of a distinction. The, the, the rhetoric of this card seems to me to be what they are defining as affect. And so the word affect is there, but it's not the word affect everywhere. Awesome. If this card is like affect for white, is it another card? I think, so that that's, part's I, think, I think that it, to, I think that card is probably more of an impact out to your framework of simulations, is the way I understand it. I, so they get to explain that. So I also did not hear the two AR say they read new cards on affect, therefore I get new arguments. There were two things, which is it wasn't clear in the one and C, it only occurs once in the tag, and then they read a new framework interpretation, which do, I... Do you hear me say that the primary is No. Well, then, you know, because everything is called this Um, I'll say that for four very brilliant people, I think it's kind of shallow in terms of, like, things that were going on, in terms of, like, China explaining to me why a China war was happening now, China war was not happening now. Which is kind of both decisions that uh, I had to go kind of resolving. Um, Iraq, Afghanistan, any of the flesh that was in the debate, I felt like was never fleshed out. And I thought that that was the first part of the debate. It's not accessible.
I don't know why that's not a bigger solving proposition that isn't as good of an approach or not a solid, solidified approach to the nation state to be able to solve. That does some, some serious things in the way that I can some of these things. So in terms of the way that I uh, kind of explain the way, the way I'm not really sure why we're having that kind of warms up the point. We're really not, not, I'm not sure what, where, I, I even asked, so we can just go to the monitor room, so we, um, there's not the Supreme Court governor, it's this governor, and I'm not sure why that says we are going to have more now. This is coupled with the way that I kind of interpret the cross-examination is going, which is cross-examination for the yes and rational interpretation of the state, and sort of this, but why does that resolve in war? I wasn't sure how that concluded, but I think we are a little bit on the side of the gap, or on the negative, excuse me, as to the status quo. The United States economy is not that compelling as China, not that compelling as China, and we're probably not going to have it. So then I, I kind of devolved to, like, well, the way we represented in this debate is in much of this also a pretty important issue. So if that's also an issue, especially the affective relationship, you represent some of those things. I thought that that did some, some serious problems. The first was the personal relationship argument. This is uh, what we're just kind of explaining in terms of the impact. I gave a little bit more argument about the rationale argument. So at the end of the debate, this is what I was saying at the top, is I'm not sure that either of you have a particularly good explanation of Chinese policy. You're like, they're going to lash out in terms of their repression of joy. You're like, they're going to lash out because. And I needed more from his side. But ultimately, I don't know how to resolve those things, especially in favor if I don't evaluate that the plan has a lot of access to the United States Supreme Court government, uh, change away simulation policies for certain good. The final thing that I will say, so the link argument is a, a risk control management sterilization argument. The final thing that I will say, the one kind of tie, tiebreaker that I thought wasn't addressed particularly well was the explanation of why you go to place war in place like Iraq and Afghanistan. Uh, to use your Yemen you know, NGO's argument, you're like, we're not sent for a fair life. I understood the act as like, listen, we have legitimate reasons for why we'd be able to do self defense in these instances, and we wouldn't be able to use the own in these external things. To me, what the negative is saying is that what that does is it creates a legal framework where it's okay for you to go to places where they don't fit in our law. So that the war against certain places, as long as they fit outside the law, then we can go to those wars. And that's why I thought that maybe have a better explanation of why geopolitical conflict might be able to occur. Uh, the alternative in terms of just individual relationships, as I said, kind of topic, maybe not be the best explanation of the statement, certainly the best explanation on the ground, and maybe an adequate explanation kind of to some of your problems. And that's why the alternative is kind of solved. The permutation I kind of agree with didn't understand what you were saying, but I, I just like thought, to some extent, you always kind of reduce it to the most fundamental levels, like, there's good, there's bad, and to the most basic level, I don't understand how those things would come together if you sanitize these sorts of things, especially because I think the Elliott evidence talks about the crowd out of narratives um, in terms of and citizens being reached. I thought that was the only piece of evidence that even talked about how these things become polarized if you don't explain to me why methodological competition is something that is bad.
in that. Um, not about it like you forgot something in it, so I'm not really sure how the Jackson evidence applies in a second. Um, on the Hemings evidence that you read in the 1AR, it, it is new in the 1AR, but even if I had that one, your card says that it doesn't distinguish between the two. I think it's too loud to clear vision as to why you can them.
And that's the card that was Yeah, I missed the donkey of it specifically. No, that might But what is the what is the argument? It's just we have two cards that are like we do national security celebration. So here's the problem with that. This is like I make a lot of where does that take us? Do you make a lot of that's I just, 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 I Thank you.